Hey, this is Jason Ebuyer from Discovered Underground, and we've made a little road trip. Uh, we're not in Thailand, we're in Texas, we're actually in Garland, Texas, and even more specifically than that, we're at Garrett Metal Detectors. So we're gonna go inside, meet with Steve Moore, um, check out the new AT Max, and uh, see if we get to play with it a little bit. So here we are. It's the AT Max. I wonder if anybody will know if it's missing. <laughs> I like this. I like the, the rubber grip versus the foam because you always get mud in there. So this is going to be good. So here we are at Garrett Metal Detectors with Steve Moore, and we're going to check out the AT Max. Um, I feel very privileged just to be able to see it before it's been released in production. So thank you for. Oh, yeah, it's good to see you again. Good to have you in here. Thank you. Appreciate that. So we got the MS3 headphones, the wireless headphones that come with it. Fired up like that. You see that it's powered on, it's blinking. Turn on the machine there and it's gone solid. These they're already, you know, paired. These these guys know each other. So okay. there's a, a hard pair uh, operation you can do on this if, if they've never been paired or if you're pairing up a different device for the first time. This will be a little bit changed. This this model has been here on the floor for a few weeks. We're making a few changes. Uh, volume control has been added. Excellent. And there's a couple of changes to the secondary function. So this label doesn't look exactly like the final one's going to look, but you get the idea. I mean, you're paired. I don't know if you can see on there, yeah. but there's the little symbol showing that it's you know paired up to the headphones. Perfect. That's the Z-Link symbol. Now, Z-Link is it a proprietary technology or? Will third parties be able to manufacture headphones to connect to it or anything no, like that? No, I mean, there's other people that do wireless kits that are out there, but it's right. not Z-Link. Okay. Uh, there's some competitors, uh, various brands. These are much faster, okay. so it is proprietary. I mean, our engineers put some time into making sure that when you go over a target, you're hearing right. it. Be, be, no be, delay. Be, yeah, no so, delay. So this is over. yours. This is your technology alone. And there's, there's you know, ones that may be a few bucks cheaper and all that, and gotcha. people go, ah, it's acceptable, but... When you go past the target and you don't hear it until that point, then yeah. to me that's not acceptable. Well, and these, like, they're light. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, no way to describe it, but going from a wired headset, um, and I don't have any wireless kits or anything like that, but these are, these are light. And they feel nice. I mean, they look, they look pretty sturdy, pretty rugged. So. Yeah, you got the volume control on there, you know, so you can good. adjust it. And if you need to, you know, compact them down for storage oh, or nice. travel, put it in your backpack, it gets a whole lot smaller than our uh, previous you know, MS2 or uh, not MS1 headset, I guess gotcha. I'd say. So there you go with that. Cool. Got your audio. You've got you know your different modes: custom, all metal, coins, zero. So there's a zero mode. Should be no discrimination. And got the audio mm -hmm. okay in there. I got audio. And quarter. Should be a higher tone, dime. So the numbers are very close to the, the gold and the pro. Yeah. Some people are asking about that. So the numbers are reading very close. They may be a little bit. Very similar. They could be a, a digit or two different yeah. here and there. I haven't tested every last little target like that. Okay. But you'll get accustomed to it. I'll be quick. glad to take it and test every little target. <laughs> if <Yeah>. you, <laughs> uh, you know, with the jump target. Of course, on the bottle cap. Yeah. Oh, you, so it's sketchy. Can, so this sounds exactly like the AT Gold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, same kind of so audio. Same as AT Gold. audio. Same tones. Everything is AT Gold. Yeah. The, the pulse width uh, modulation audio. It's kind of zippier, crisper yep. sound than what I'd say is on the Pro. Yeah. So that, I like the sound of the Gold better. Uh, yeah. If and you, you recommended that years ago to me, and that's yeah. what I switched to. So yeah, I do too. I had real good luck with the Gold. I found my first Gold coin with it. I found a lot of good targets with it. This goes deeper, it's more sensitive, it's got more things in it, so you know, I'm pretty excited about this one, obviously. Very good. And uh, early testing's been real good, you know. Be yeah, out, be seen some shortly. of the videos, so. And no official release date yet, right? Uh, not yet. You know, okay. we're still twiddling with a couple of last little things, making a couple of last minute changes, such as uh, volume control built into it. So if you take the headphones off, Instead of having loud audio, you can take the sound down a little bit. Right. And that and a couple other minor things inside there. So, okay. But worth it. Worth the wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll be you know, making an announcement here pretty quick on, okay. on what the final release date's going to be. Okay. Very cool. All right. You guys want to come on back? Yeah, that'd be great. So we're going back to the manufacturing area. Um, but unfortunately, we can't take the camera 
all the way. So I'll share with you what I find as much as I can. So for now. All right, so here we're in the manufacturing area. We've kind of walked around and shown you a few different uh, parts of the process. Here we're kind of at the finishing end of one of the ACE lines, and you can see uh, the gentleman here is packing up the coil, putting in the stems, getting it all ready, putting it in the final packaging. It's gone through its quality control process by this point. Everything's been checked out. And what you're going to get is a finished uh, box of products here. In this case, we're doing ACE 400s on this line. Tomorrow they might be doing 300s. You never know. So this is the finished end of the process. This is like the area we're not supposed to show you, <laughs> but he's letting us see some. So. All right. All right, here we go. This area back in here. Oh, excellent. And they may be on the phone, so I'm going to Some more at lunch, but uh, there's Rusty. Hey, on the phone. Yeah, of course. So, doing good customer service. So, one of the things that I would say, beyond just fabulous machines, uh, that Garrett and everybody that has a Garrett product knows this, is their customer service. Um, if you ever have issues, any problems, they are very quick to respond and take care of you. So that's that's been the, one of the best parts for us. Yeah. We've broken a few machines. And that happens. I mean, he's years. always got a repair job in the work from somebody. Yeah. yeah. So, How you doing, man? I'm good. Back stateside, are you? Just for a month. For uh, Just for a month? Yeah. Well, and that's, that's a decent back. amount of time. Yeah. Doing any metal taking over there? Not yet. So not yet. Not yet. When when we left, because it's new culture, new language, and a lot of changes for the family. I see. We just decided, like, I'm gonna. Well, I decided. Nobody even asked. I said, I'm gonna put all this away. I sold my machine, so I'm gonna put it all away and just focus on language and family and culture and just I see. not get your priorities right. All right. So we had a great tour of Garrett. Um, it was very cool to see the manufacturing floor, to meet some of the people in there. Um, already knew a couple of the guys. Um, they weren't quite ready to let go of an AT Max yet. They were very close to it. And we had talked about it, the possibility of being able to hunt with one tomorrow, but just not yet. They are making some modifications that you are going to love. Um, some things that you suggested. So they're doing the changes. They're listening to their customers. So I'm not able to haul one back with me just yet, but very soon uh, we will have one. We'll get one in Thailand. We'll be finding cool stuff with it. Um, so as soon as we have that, you'll see it. Um, and it should be pretty soon. Can't give you a date, but it should be pretty soon. <laughs> You're such a goober. You ruined the shot. I know I did it.